exactly is mortgage forbearance? Hi, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Samantha Perlman and I'm a realtor located in central New Jersey. We're living in a lot of uncertain times right now. You turn on the TV to watch the news or you read an article online. It seems like almost every other article is talking about mortgage forbearance. So in this week's video, I'm going to be talking about mortgage forbearance in general terms. And then I'm also going to be referencing it specific to what's going on in the world today around the coronavirus pandemic. So what is mortgage forbearance? This means that your mortgage company or your mortgage servicer has agreed to either suspend or drastically reduce your monthly mortgage payments for a specific amount of time. This allows you to deal with any short-term financial challenges that you might have while you get back on your feet. Let me clarify, this does not mean you live in the house for free. This is not a forgiveness of the money you owe. The lender still wants and is entitled to that mortgage payment for that length of time. Let's use three months as an example. No matter what happens, you still owe them that three months. The conversation really becomes more about what is the repayment of this money going to look like? So if you find yourself in a tough financial situation, maybe you've lost your job or you're temporarily furloughed because of what's going on, call your loan servicer and ask them if they offer any sort of a forbearance. So when you call the lender, you really need to get a lot of clarity on exactly how that money is going to be paid back to them. There are some lenders out there that after the three months on month four, they want all four months of mortgage payments at once. And the reality is you're probably not going to be able to do that. So you want to discuss what are the repayment options that they're going to offer. Are they going to tack it onto the back of the loan or are they going to set you up on some sort of a payment plan once the forbearance period ends? It's really important that you fully understand exactly what the agreement looks like. And whatever the final agreement is, make sure you get it in writing. Now, one piece of advice I do want to give anybody out that is requesting a forbearance on their mortgage, please understand that that is just in regards to your mortgage. That if your mortgage servicer also pays your property taxes and your homeowner's insurance, those items are not being deferred. You're still gonna owe the taxes and the homeowner's insurance. And if you don't make at least those payments to your mortgage servicer every month, they're gonna pay it out of your escrow account and eventually your escrow account is gonna be short and you're gonna owe a lump sum for your taxes and homeowner's insurance as well. Well, you might have a temporary suspension or reduction of your mortgage payment, please understand what your property taxes and homeowner's insurance responsibilities are and make sure you're at least covering those every single month. The conversation around mortgage forbearance really started because of everything that's going on with the coronavirus. So let's talk about what's happening specific to this pandemic around mortgage forbearance. There was a new federal law signed into legislation, the CARES Act which stands for the Corona Aid, Relief, and Economic Security Act. This act puts into place two key things for homeowners out there right now who have a mortgage on their property. Number one, a foreclosure moratorium, which basically suspends all foreclosures from happening for a specific amount of time. And number two, a right to forbearance for homeowners who are experiencing a financial hardship due to the COVID-19 emergency. In order for you to qualify for the forbearance option that I just explained, your mortgage has to be backed by the federal government. It has to be a government-backed loan such as Fannie Mae or Freddie Mac. A privately held mortgage does not fall under this legislation. While they may offer forbearance to you, it's not actually a requirement. According to the CARES Act, you can request up to 180 days of mortgage forbearance, and at the end of the 180 days, you can request another extension for 180 days. That essentially puts you at 12 months mortgage forbearance. But as I mentioned earlier, this does not mean you get to live in your house for 12 months for free. You will still owe that money. That's why it's key to understand what the agreement you set forth with your lender is from the beginning. Because can you imagine paying all 12 months of mortgage payments at once? I don't know anybody that can do that. It also states in the legislation that during this time, there can be no late fees and no penalties tacked on for the borrower and it will not be reported to the credit bureaus. So in theory, this shouldn't affect your credit at all. Now, if your mortgage is not backed by the federal government, you may still have options. You just have to call your servicer and ask. Now, what I will say about all of this is that if you can pay your mortgage, 
you should. You should still be paying it or at least as much as you can. Call them and work it out. If you haven't lost your job as a result of this, let's say you're able to work from home successfully, keep paying your mortgage and stick to your agreement. You see, these lenders are getting tons and tons of phone call traffic of people who have real financial hardships that really need to be put into this forbearance situation. And if you don't, if you're still working and you're getting your regular income, well, then you should continue to make payments and follow the agreement that you already have in place and reserve the programs like this for the people that really need it. So my piece of advice is if you are currently experiencing the financial hardship due to the virus or you're at risk of developing a financial hardship, either by being temporarily laid off or permanently laid off, call your loan servicer right away. This CARES Act does not mean that you can just stop paying your loan or just stop paying your mortgage and there's no ramifications. You have to set yourself up with a mortgage forbearance agreement because if you don't, if you just stop making payments and you don't call and you don't say anything, well, yes, they can't foreclose on you right now, but when this is all said and done and foreclosures can actually happen again, it's going to catch up with you. I suggest you call, you have the conversation, you ask, what do I need to do to apply for the forbearance and what does the repayment plan look like afterwards? Like I said earlier, you don't wanna find yourself in a situation where you're gonna owe multiple months all at the same time because really nobody can do that. Thank you so much for watching and I really hope you found this information helpful. You know, my goal is to make the content you're looking for. So if you have an idea for a future video, leave it in the comment section below. And if you haven't already done so, consider hitting that subscribe button and the bell so you don't miss the new videos I release every week. I hope everybody's staying safe at home and I'll see you next week.